Yo, what's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Sean. Stay fitted. Right off the rip, man. If you see the title of the video and read the description and everything, you already know coming to you on this gloomy day, man. It's raining hell of a right now. But uh, this video, man, is one that's real close to me. Like I said, I'm a Cali dude, South Central LA, born and raised. With this one here, man, it kind of touched me because we're doing a, a very fitted tribute to the notorious B.I.G., a.k.a. Biggie Small. Biggie, whatever you want to call him, man. One of the great ones of my day and my era. Uh, pretty much one of the ones everybody want to compare themselves to. You already know a lot of people say when him and Pac died, man, that was pretty much the end of hip-hop. I mean, everybody has their own variations of what they think hip-hop is. Like I said, me, I don't really knock the, the, the newer age of hip-hop. is not for me. But, I mean, everybody has their thing. Everybody hated gangster rap. Everybody hated some other form of rap with the... You know what I'm saying? The, with the great dancing like I mean every I mean everything goes through tribulations and trials. Everything changes. It has to. You know what I'm saying? That's what the time is. Pretty sure that's for another, another video and another debate. But just wanted to say, I mean, he was one of the great ones, one of the great storytellers, you know what I'm saying? Uh Pac towards the more end of his music career was more political, you know what I'm saying? But the one thing they both had in common, they both had a message and a story to tell. Because they were, you know what I'm saying, they were storytellers. In my opinion, that's how I describe them. You know what I mean? Because they uh they talked about stuff that was really going on. Pac, he was hitting home with a lot of political stuff going on. I was actually in the news. And Biggie, he hit it on the head from, of course, where he coming from. You see, I have to wear my, my City Series Brooklyn Nets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he hit it to where, you know, he was telling you why them dudes was out there on the corner slaying and hustling and doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, some people don't want to get them dudes a chance to get a job. So they ain't just doing it for the high sign. They're just doing it for the money. They're doing it because they got to feed their kid or something. But like I said, that's for another debate. Probably you can say for another channel. But just wanted to, you know what I'm saying, give a little background. You know what I'm saying? Because some people, which is sad, I mean, they know Biggie. They may have heard a couple songs, but they really don't know because they weren't there in that era. You know what I mean? So, you know, you got to give them a little background. You know what I'm saying? Got my Coogie brim going for the Biggie sweater and everything. We're going to get right into We got two pickups. You know what I'm saying? That's both, like I said, dedicated to the memory of B.I.G., we're going to get right into it. Stay tuned, man. This one's going to be a good one. It's definitely going to be something for you to look at. I can't wait to show y'all, man. So stay tuned. We're going to hit y'all with this intro, and we're going to get right to Man, I wish I could just play my intro. wish I could throw a little biggie on there, man. But you know how they do, man, you know, copyright and all that kind of stuff, because I would have just banged it out with some biggie with the intro or something. But we're going to do mine, then we're going to get into biggie with the fitted, though, man. So stay tuned. <laughs> Like I said, we back. We're going to jump right into them. This first Biggie pickup is actually from NewEra.com. They actually, I don't know if it was a restock. I don't know, but they had it in my size. They had an eight, so I jumped on it. No hesitation. Had to have it. And we're going to get right into it. Of course, bagged up because of the black boxes. Let me oh, open this bad boy up real quick. Give me a minute. But like I said, man, anything I can get my hands on. And you know what's funny? I know Biggie was really tired. If everybody knows Biggie, know anything about Biggie, man. He loved Brooklyn. He loved where he came from. You know what I'm saying? His, his favorite land, his favorite, excuse me, favorite saying was spread love the Brooklyn way. You know what I'm saying? You heard it many a times on his songs. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was, you know, a, a, a advocate supporter of his hometown. So with that being said, I had to pick up the other entry in the city series which is the best eye. Of course, like I said, Brooklyn logo. Got the Brooklyn logo here. Now, like I told people, people know I got a thing when it comes to the white hats, but you know, you just got to hold your hands, pray to God, and uh, use your protector on them. But I definitely had to have this. You got your Brooklyn. You already know he was big, best eye. You know what I'm saying? Got your Brooklyn Nets hat, kind of like I said, how they got on this one. Got your NBA logo on the back. Got your black New Era flag right there on the end. And like I said, man, this one, for me, basically a no-brainer. Anybody knows Biggie, he was famous for wearing those crazy color Coogie sweaters. You know what I'm saying? Like, people nowadays are probably not that. But I know out here on the West Coast, they weren't big. East Coast, I heard they were major. Like, couldn't keep them on the shelves. And I heard them things was going for like two, three hundred, dollars almost upwards of $400. So he made that famous with that colorway. Which another thing too, which is um to me, I think that was a real solid thing with the Brooklyn Nets, how 
you know, they didn't have to show that kind of respect to it. I mean, you know what they say, just another rapper, a gangster rapper, whatever have you. But they literally took on his moniker with their uh, their City Series jerseys. I think that was real stand-up and dope. Because like I said, anybody knew Biggie and he pushed his music. I mean, everything music-wise, you know what I'm saying? He always gave it up for his hometown and where he came from. You know what I mean? So I, I think that was pretty dope. And just a sidebar note, man. Notorious, I think that was a dope movie. Okay, like I said, I'm from California. That All Eyes on Me Tupac movie, Jesus Christ. I couldn't even get into it. If I was one of those editors who knew how to cuss and, and blur out my cuss words, it would be a lot of cussing right now because that movie was tragic. It was horrible. And like I said, me being from out here, you think they could have did my man Pac a little better. But like I said, man, you know, people act like they really mess with you when you're here and when you're gone. Like his memory, man, like... I mean, it, it could have been a whole lot better. I mean, you still got his people that stand up for him and, and show love and everything like that, which is cool. But now, if I had to compare that to when it came to Biggie's love, oh, no, nah, man, that's that's unmatched, bro. Like, the, the, the love that Biggie still gets now. I mean, Pac, his fans hold his memory down loyalty because, I mean, of course, if I had to pick a favorite, of course, I'm going to lean more towards Pac because he talked about more stuff that was going on out here, so I get it. Now, I understood what Biggie was talking about out there, but I mean, more so since me not being from New York, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, you're going to gravitate to music where you're from. Just like when I chop it up online with some of my hat club people, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, Fed Hat Society. You ain't on Facebook, get on there, follow the group. Uh, you know, when they talk about certain music or you see them post certain music, you know, I don't know what it is or know who it is, but of course, since that's their hometown and their hometown people, they're going to know. So, of course, people are going to gravitate more to what they know music-wise and just, you know, different imitations of what's going on. So, but with that being said, I still felt it because when he was talking about that, you know what I'm saying, certain type of stuff out here, it's still going on, of course, in Cali and LA and all that kind of stuff, just in a little different way. But like I said, man, you know, they always say, that, I mean, the game is the same wherever you're playing it. It's just the different players, literally, you know what I'm saying? So that's real talk. But like I said, man, you got the best eye, other city series from the Brooklyn Nets, definitely dope. Let me go ahead and get this back in the plastic, man. I just don't want to sit this down anywhere. I mean, it's a white cap. <laughs> now, this next one, this is the one I was really waiting for right here, man. This here, we're going to get right into this, man, because I've been waiting to actually see this in hand. So, hopefully, I can pop this open, man. I got to start bringing my knife in here, man, because I always forget my knife when I start this stuff. Uh, all right. Now, this pickup... I actually caught, shout out to my guy, I hope I'm saying his name right now, I'm chopping it, Pierre Moran in Fitted Hat Society, because I was chopping it up with him, and I told him, like, man, this cap you got, I need to get my hands on it, man, let me know when they bring it back out. Now, this cap, it was pricey, it was pricey, so it probably wasn't for everybody due to the price point, I'm not going to put it out there, I know some people probably picked it up, some people didn't, but it came from Brooklyn Social, oh, this is dope. This is real dope. Uh, here's the tag that they gave me in their thing. It has everything New York in it. See, it says the Bronx. It got a KRS-One on there. Jam Master J. Oh, they've got Big Pun in the corner. That's solid right there. You know what I'm saying? Got the little streets out there. And it's uh, basically a thank you card. And it says friend of mine. And coincidentally, they had a, a, a discount sale. And the code was friend of mine on there to get like 30% off. Which it did come in handy with the cap. Because like I said, price point was a little pricey. But with that being said, again, that being said, <laughs> uh, this one here, man, this is this is dope to me, man. This, this got to go, just the way they did it, it has to go in my top five. Has to go in my top five. And it's the New York B.I.G. on there, of course, for Biggie. Let's pop it open. You got the bad boy in the description over there, right above the new air flag. And this one right here, man, that just shut it down. That shut it down right there. This to me, when they put that on there, had to have it. And it's and it's amazing what you can do when you take just a regular and just your basic regular New York fitted hat and just add a little something on there, turn it into an instant classic. To me, this was a must have in my collection. It had to happen. It was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I mean, I really wish they could have did something, you know, inside, but I know they probably just, it was just a, an in-house creation from um, Brooklyn. I mean, yeah, Brooklyn Social. Uh, wait, am I saying that right? 
I want to make sure, man. I want to make sure I don't chuck the name up. No, it's Bronx Social. So now Brooklyn, it's Bronx Social. Like I said, they just took your average run of the mill New York Yankees hat and and turn it into an instant classic. I mean, to me, this I definitely can wear with everything going on once all this is over. This is definitely go. Oh, this with the Tims, you already know. Just just to give them that heat. Come on, man, quit playing. All right, the Tims is on ice. I'd have had them on ice for about a year. You know what I'm saying? So, and most people, which is crazy, man, they say you don't wear Tims in the summertime, which is cool. Cause I'm gonna keep this on ice too, so I can I can wait till winter rolls around again and go ahead and let this get out there. But like I said, I love the New York, I love the Big. You hit them with the bad boy insignia above the New Era flag. I mean, everything about this hat is just dope in my opinion. I mean, a fitting tribute to a dude like him. Like I said, as far as when it goes, you know, New York, Brooklyn, or anything, I'm gonna just tell you personally. I don't care what rapper comes out or what's going on. You can have your Jay Z's, your Nas. To me, like I said, I'm not from Brooklyn, so people may take it different, but Live Dead, to me, Biggie's going to be always the king of New York, and I'm pretty sure when you ask most of them, they say the same thing, so there's no use in basing an argument on them when they're telling you what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, that being said, check this out. I believe they still have a couple of hat sizes on their left, but be ready, man, because like I said, it may be a regular Yankees fitted, but with the work they did to it, it is a little pricey. Now, Honestly, in my opinion, I paid for some pricey hats and said like, eh, maybe I wouldn't, maybe I wouldn't have. To me, I'm going to be all honestly straight up, look at my face, this is worth it. Nothing else can compare to, especially like I said, if you came up in that genre, you came up in that music and what hip hop means to you, this was a must have, hands down. I mean, you know, nothing else to say about it, man. Point blank period, in my opinion. Let me know what you think down below. Those are the pickups, as you see. I already put the best eye back in the plastic because I'm not messing around so I can get some protector on this thing. But with that being said, you got your best eye, you got your Bronx Social, New York Yankees, Bad Boy Biggie Smalls Edition. Let me know what you think down below. Those are the pickups for the day, man. Glad I can keep getting these videos out to y'all, man. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you need help finding it, I'll try. If I can get the link to uh, Bronx Social, I'll throw it down in the description. But like I said, man, be ready to hit them with that. But like I said, if this is something you like, oh, man, I got to have that in the collection. Hey, man, usually I don't say, get it. Get it, man. Definitely get it. That's just something. It's it's a must-have for any true collector's collection. You know what I'm saying? Beyond how, like, you know, I got the fear of God had the just died. Like, nah. This, this is, like I said, because of my era, my genre, man, what I love for hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, this was a must-have, hands down. This would have, this already knocked both of those off of that throne as far as, you know what I'm saying, paying for it, fit it. So, but like I said, that's my opinion. And I'm sticking to it, man. This your boy, Sean Stay Fitted, man. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff, man. I'm glad I could throw y'all another good thing, a little content roll for y'all. Let me know what you think about the fitted below. Like I said, I'm going to try to put that link in the description down below. So with that being said, man, I'm going to hop up out of here, man. I'm going to make it do what it do on this gloomy weather, man. Probably go grab me something to eat or something, man. I'm going to hop up out of here and let y'all do what y'all do. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and all that good stuff, man. I'm going to get with y'all on the next one. Trust me, in this whole area over here, there's plenty of next ones to get to, man. So I'm going to hit y'all on the next one. I'm gone. Spread love to Brooklyn White, baby.